Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another video. And this one is of the Galaxy Note 4, and it's been my daily driver for almost the past month now. And this video will be top five reasons why you should buy the Note 4. And just remember, my next video, hoping to get that out by tomorrow, will be five reasons why you should not buy this device, as every review should have two sides of the story. Let's hop right in. Number one, tech specs and performance. As the Galaxy Note 4 is theoretically a flagship, the flagship of all the phablets, it comes with the latest and greatest of inside internals. CPU wise, it's got a 2.7 GHz quad core processor with Adreno 420 GPU. It's got 3 gigs of RAM and either 32 or 64 gigs of internal storage. Everything that you throw at the Note 4, it just gobbles up and can handle without any sort of problem. Hardly any stutter in the UI, I would hope so for being a flagship, maybe slight, slight hiccups. And I think that's because of TouchWiz, but I'll get to that later in another review. But other than that, extremely buttery smooth and you won't have any sort of issues. Day-to-day -day operations on your Note 4, switching between apps, transitions through simple menus, anything social media wise, which is what I use my smartphone primarily, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, all of those are crushed by the Note 4 and will perform without any sort of hiccup. You start switching over to gaming, 3D gaming, simple games, almost everything that you throw at the Note 4, it will perform without any sort of lag, as it should for a flagship of this kind of price. Number two, build quality. This is what the Galaxy S5 should have been like. This is what the Galaxy S4 should have been like. This is what every single Samsung device should feel like. The Galaxy Note 4 hit a home run on this one. The outsides are completely made out of aluminum, whereas the back is the faux leather finish that we've seen in previous models without the cheesy stitching found on the Galaxy Note 3. It's got chamfered edges, which means it might get a bit damaged over time due to the raw exposed aluminum, but it just feels so nice to hold in my hands. Compared to the iPhone 6 Plus, I'll take the Galaxy Note 4 9.9 .9 out of 10 times. It's got the straight edges, which means I can actually hold the phone and it doesn't feel like it's always slipping out of my hands. Number three, the camera. The Galaxy Note 4 comes with a 16 megapixel autofocus camera, which is one of the best cameras that I've used on a smartphone to date. Probably the best Android smartphone camera that I've ever used. It has 4K video recording at 30 FPS, 1080p at 60 FPS, as well as 120 FPS slow mo at 720p. The front facing camera has also been bumped up. It's 3.7 megapixels with an aperture of f1.9 and can also record at 2560 by 1440 for a front facing camera that's pretty crazy and can also capture super wide angle selfies. More people in your selfies, yes. From the camera options menu, you can pretty much change every single setting you want. ISO, exposure, white balance, viewing angles. Simply click on the button down below to either start recording a video or to start snapping away. I won't go too far in depth with the camera review, but if you're looking for a smartphone with a great camera, you can't go wrong with a Note 4. Number four, the display. This Galaxy Note 4 has a 5.7 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display, 2560 by 1440 with a PPI of 515. This is one of the best, if not the best display I've seen on a smartphone. Super AMOLED means you'll have extremely high contrast ratios. You'll either like or dislike that feature, but let me tell you, looking at this thing, wow. It is definitely eye-catchy. If you're using one of Samsung's pre-installed wallpapers, you can really see the difference in contrast ratios, and you'll also see that in the pre-loaded photos. Any sort of media that you're viewing on the phone will be extremely rich. Once again, contrast ratios will be nice and high, maybe even a bit too oversaturated, but you get used to that over time. Awesome display. Number five, battery life. The Note 4 has a 3220 milliamp hour battery and it is removable. Just pop off the back cover and within a year or two, if your battery gets a bit sluggish, you can always swap it out. But on a day-to-day -day basis, even with extreme heavy usage, you should be able to last all day without any problems. A day and a half to two days on moderate usage 
and it will last days on end if you're just having it on standby mode. It also features fast charging, so it can get around 50% on 30 minutes according to Samsung. I found that to be around 40 minutes for around 40-ish, 45%, but pretty close to what they're advertising. And last but not least, it's got a bunch of different battery saving modes in case you're in that dire need and need to save some juice for later. And of course, we can't forget about the stylus. It's an actual feature of the Note series, so maybe we can't include this in the top 5, but you can't forget about the S Pen. It's been improved since the Galaxy Note 3, and I find myself using it more and more on a daily basis, and definitely isn't a gimmick. A nice little extra feature to have. And that was 5 reasons why you should grab the Galaxy Note 4. I hope this helps some of you that are still on the fence and deciding whether or not to purchase this smartphone. Remember, my next video will have 5 reasons why you shouldn't buy this phone. Keep posted to your sub boxes. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And I'll catch the rest of you guys in my next episode. Peace.